now go on to the third section, which is just going to be explaining a bit on what GANST is. It will be introduced in the beginning. Definition for GANST. It's a new state of matter, a molecule of a gas, which becomes nano of itself and appears as solid state of matter. Gas to nano of solid is to be called GANS for short. So we start out with the matter state, we create the nano, and we will be showing you later workshops how you will be creating your GANS material um, using different metal plates, one nano, one non-nano, um, to create your GANS material. So if we expose short example here, if we expose this, this nano copper and plain copper to another condition, like a salt water environment, we create the condition for the GANS of copper to be created. Uh, these GANS become free and are not attached to the copper anymore. And they become a GANS material being copper oxide. So now these are, if you're looking at a uh, picture of the jar, with billions of tiny little particles and those that have made their GANS already. Um, each one of those tiny little GANS is now independent uh, and it's, it's not attached to anything anymore and they're essentially independent of themselves. And every single, if you can view every single one of these little balls is like a little sun and it's radiating energy continuously outward and receiving energy coming in. And if you view these little, uh, little uh, GANS as tiny little um, magnets as we showed in the beginning video, is round, three-dimensional. Um, that's essentially what each one of those little GANS plasmas that we make. A single GANS magnetical as both magnetical and gravitational fields because the fields are flowing out and the fields are coming back in. And each one of these is made of millions and millions of fields that come together and spin continuously, creating a dynamic field interaction. So that's what our, our little GANS are that we make in our bottles and each one is radiating continuously. So in the future workshops we will be showing you how to make your CO2, your copper, your zinc and CH3, which is your four main ones, um, in how you collect your amino acids. Um, in the health sections we will be showing you creating the food GANs, calcium GANs, GAN circles. So, You'll see how we will show you that understanding the basic concept, you can begin to learn and do all this yourself in on your kitchen table or in your garage. Um, you'll be able to create all this material for yourself and then you'll be able to use it in various ways for health and for agriculture and for energy. So the summary of, of what the GANS is, is, is if we view them as tiny little suns, so tiny little round uh, magnet that's constantly uh, radiating and because it's free it's a tiny little entity all on its own um, it's emitting a much stronger field than what it was being attached to the, the matter state and is continuously giving and receiving fields. So that was a short one but it was important to just establish the very basics of what the GANS is. And so essentially when we look at the summary for, for today, I say I, the whole purpose of these workshops is to keep it short um, to the point so that you can take home certain bits of information and, and really understand what it's all about. So the plasma science is really an extension of what we know. It's, um, it's looking deeper into the essence of everything, which is the magnetic fields. And that's what you really need to understand, is that everything is made up of these fields. So even the the pen you're holding or the table you're sitting at, it's all made up of fields. And we'll go into more details next time. But that's what you really need to take home. And it's the interaction of these magnetic fields creating what we call magrav fields, which is magnetical and gravitational fields. So it's just a slight different concept from what we've understood as attraction and repulsion, um, but it's really magnetical and gravitational. 
We create nano layers, which allows for greater interaction with these fields that are around us, um, and how we can use them as, as filters so that we can only work with certain fields. And from those, we can start creating and producing our different GANS materials. And at the GANS, if you had to view the GANS as tiny little suns that are constantly giving and receiving fields. And it's this application and use of these GANS materials in, they say, the health and agriculture, and you see how it will start splitting together under the different uh, portions of science. And, you know, science today has really tried to compartmentalize everything. Um, but when you start to understand the plasma, you will see that when you understand it in from a health aspect, it's exactly the same in nature. It's exactly the same as the way the Earth works. It's exactly the same as the way our solar system would work, our, the galaxies or the universe. It's just a scale that would vary, but essentially it's all operating on the same basic principles. Uh, and that's very important for, for people to understand is that the science merges everything into one basic understanding. It doesn't matter from the atom scale all the way up to the universe. It's exactly the same. All right, so those are the essentially the basic points that one needs to take home from this first workshop um, because they are fundamental to understanding everything later on.